Hey everybody. Lou P back with you. Um, Want to give you uh, my take on the Super Bowl, the big game tomorrow. Boy, don't you just love that music, huh? Yeah. Uh, I can see Jimmy Johnson and all those guys getting ready for the game. They got it made. Hey, Jimmy Johnson bought his bought him a jet, so uh, thought that was pretty cool. Good for him. I uh, hope you all had a blessed day today. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, let me tone that down like the big guys do. Okay. Um, so basically, I just wanted to... Uh, it's Saturday night. Thought I would uh, get with you to, uh, you know, talk about the Super Bowl. Um, I have to preface this by saying, of course, the Cowboys didn't even make the playoffs. Um... There were some very good teams this year. There were some teams that weren't so good in the playoffs. But uh, the bottom line is it comes down to the Denver Broncos and the uh, Seattle, what are they called, Mariners, Supersonics, the Seattle, uh, what are those, Seahawks? Yeah, Seahawks. Um, boy, it's, it's going to be a good game. Uh, I think uh, I, we just Saturday night we just learned that uh, Peyton Manning won the MVP for 2013. Uh, congrats to him! Congrats to him anyway for being an old guy. He has a chance to set a record uh, tomorrow at Super Bowl um, to be the only uh, person to win a Super Bowl on two different teams. Did I just did I is that correct? Right. So, um, you know, it seems like that's been done before, but maybe it's, maybe he's the first person to win two different Super Bowls, one in the AFC and one in the NFC. Maybe that's the way it goes. Anyway, congrats to Peyton Manning. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of Peyton Manning, let's go back here. I, I, I gotta, I gotta let you hear this. Oh, this is pretty cool. AFC Championship. Omaha. Omaha. Yeah, I love that, huh? Omaha. The Denver Broncos are heading to the Super Bowl. Omaha. Omaha. What does it mean, play, Peyton? But it could be a pass play. Uh -huh. Have you ever heard Omaha said so much? Wow. How about that Omaha, huh? Good for Peyton. What What does all that mean? I can't get a straight answer on what Omaha is. Somebody said... All the sports geeks, and of course, they claim it has something to do with the cadence and centering the ball and all that stuff. Who knows? I mean, Omaha. Omaha Steaks. Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska. That's a new movie. That's supposed to be pretty good, by the way. Um, but well, what does it mean? Who knows? So, I don't know. You know, I don't squat about predictions. Who knows? Um... The storyline, the number one offense from Denver going against the number one defense in Seattle. Here's my take on it. I don't think it's going to come down to the number one offense of Denver and the number one off, uh, defense of Seattle. I think it's going to come down to Seattle's offense versus Denver's defense. Here's why I say that. And, and I go back to that game that Denver played Dallas. You know Denver almost lost that game? You know, in fact, Denver had to win it in the last minute or two against the Dallas Cowboys, the team that has the 32nd worst defense in the NFL, NFL this year. So, 
so I know the game was like 50 to 48 Denver. What do you think Seattle with Marshawn Lynch could do against the Denver defense? Um, so, so while everybody, and, and of course it's very popular by a 60% margin to pick Denver. I'm going to go out on the other side of the spectrum here. You know what? I'm going to pick Seattle. I pick Seattle to win 30 to 28. Here's why. I think Denver, I mean, I think Seattle just has the momentum going. You know, everybody expects, and Peyton Manning, he's class act. I'm not knocking Peyton Manning. I'm not knocking Denver. They have a great team. It's going to be a great game. But I just think Seattle's got that little something extra when it comes to uh, motivation. You know, there's too much, to me, in my mind, there's too many things to gain for Seattle emotionally, and, and uh, there's too many things to gain as the underdog. I mean, and everybody's asked them this past week during media, you know, well, you don't have any experience in the Super They don't have anybody that's ever played in the Super Bowl. So what? Just like Seattle says, we didn't have anybody that, you know, had played in an NFC championship game before and they won. So, you know, you know, we can put some of these arguments to sleep. Um, I just kind of have a sentimental favorite to Seattle. I can't explain it. Maybe this will. <laughs> oh, is that a 12? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Let's take that off. <laughs> it's a new shirt. <laughs> so, I just think in my gut, you know, and I could be totally wrong, but I'm just, I'm, I'm picking the Seahawks. Um, anyway, by the way, now that we've, we've, we've talked about that, let's go back to the Cowboys a second. <laughs> Again, I'm going to have to restate, uh, to me, the Cowboys are in such disarray. It's just incredible to me. I just feel bad. I, well, I feel bad because there's no organization. This, I mean, they're stuck, man. They're you know they're stuck, and and I've got a video before you've probably seen. That I've explained all that before. I'm just looking forward to the draft uh, and to see where Johnny Football is going because if 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 Houston is smart, they'll use their number one pick to to pick Johnny Football. And and if that's the case, it doesn't matter whichever team picks Johnny Football. To me, I would think is a forward thinking kind of organization, and I'm going to I'm gonna start rooting for that team. So wherever Johnny Football goes, it's going to be a lot more exciting for me to watch somebody who tries to win than watching the Cowboys and how one man has brought a whole enterprise down to its knees, even though it's making money. Uh, I'm tired of hearing about Jerry Jones and his success when, in fact, his team isn't successful. So he can put up all the sky mirrors he wants to. I don't care about that anymore. I don't care about the art in the in the big stadium. I don't care about all that. Uh, I just want to watch a team, a guy play that uh, that wants to win. So anyway, enough of that. Um, you guys have a good Sunday tomorrow, and um, you know, um, I hope you enjoy the game. So. You guys take it easy. We'll see you later. Omaha! Omaha! <laughs> see ya. You guys be good. <laughs>